look at this, everybody. Look at this. It's very rare to see fog out here. Very rare. Welcome back everybody. So, <laughs> as you can see, I'm sitting here with both the dogs. Got got little bandit here in my lap. Say hi buddy. Well, it's been almost a week since I made a video. Still been getting over the flu. Uh, to be honest, just taking my time getting better. Um, there's been a lot of, you know, cool days with a lot of cold wind and uh, you know, my wife's a nurse, so her advice was to stay inside, which is what I've done. And since I made the last video, we've also had two full days of rain. So I think we got somewhere around a third of an inch between the two days. But anyway, a lot of cloudy, cold days. I appreciate everybody's uh, comments and well wishes. Uh, I really appreciate it. Also, I appreciate the comments uh, that people made about the... Uh, China virus. Um, I will tell you this, um, for those of you who don't know what Sue does for a living, she edits medical research papers from around the world. And she's been working for this company now for about two and a half years. My wife has had inside information to hundreds and hundreds of research studies done on this exact subject. So I'm gonna trust what she tells me, not gonna trust what I see on TV, and unfortunately when it comes to the subject of the China virus, I'm not gonna trust anything I see that anybody says in the comments either. Um, I'm gonna trust what a registered nurse who has been privy to the information from hundreds and hundreds of research papers. I'm gonna trust that. I'm gonna trust what she says. I also have some really good news. Scout has made me so proud. So a few days ago, I was taking Scout out hunting and we found a place where there was a pack rat nest. I overturned the nest and Scout killed three pack rats all at once. She killed the mama, the papa, and the baby. I mean, just one, two, three. Within 30 seconds, she killed all three. I was so proud of her. I have been trying so, come here, baby, come here. Come here, you. I've been trying so hard to teach this dog to hunt. <laughs> I've been trying so hard to teach her to hunt. I was so proud of her. She finally did it and she was so proud. She took one of the dead pack rats and she was bringing it back to mama. She brought it back in her mouth. It was about, an, about well, it was almost a quarter mile walk. So she made it almost all the way home and it was so cute. She decided to stop and bury it along the way. I guess to save it for later, just like when she's buried one of her bones. She buried it about eight inches deep and then covered it up and uh, I haven't led her back to that spot yet. <laughs> I don't want her to dig it up again. But anyway, I thought that was cute. She was trying to bring it home to mama to show her and she was so proud of it, she buried it. I wish I had have had a camera with me to record it. I did not have a camera with me. I usually don't take a camera with me when we go hunting. Um, so unfortunately I missed it, but I was so proud of her. She is an official hunter now. Scout is an official hunter. She has scored three pack rats. So I don't know if any of you have ever watched, I can't, I don't know the exact name of the YouTube channel, but it's like something, something, the mink man or something. And this guy has like three or four pet minks that he takes out to people's farms and they use them to hunt rats. And these minks, they, you know, they look a lot like a ferret and they will dive down in it under stuff and they'll come out and just grab rats and snap their neck and toss them to the side. And the guy has like five or six dogs that he uses with these minks to hunt these rats. And I just remember watching the videos, if any of you ever watched them, where the, I'm not trying to, not trying to sound gruesome here, but the, the dogs will just grab a rat. They'll just grab it and just grab it, snap its neck, like grab it, snap its neck and throw it, grab it, snap its neck and throw it. They'll grab another one, snap its neck and throw it. And that's exactly what Scout did. 
she would just grab the rat, just grab it, like just a quick snap, just grab it, snap it, and drop it, and grab the other one, the next one, grab it, snap it, drop it, grab the next one, grab it, snap it, drop it, and then go back to the first one, and she'd hit it again, she'd hit the second one again, then she'd hit the third one, and she just kept going back through until they quit moving. And it was only the big male, the big male, those things, um, they're tough. And uh, I will say this, all three of those rats were obese. They were well fed. I mean, well fed. So anyway, population control. <laughs> my girl here, my girl scout, look at her. My girl scout, she's a hunter now, aren't you? Yeah, you're a hunter, aren't you? Yeah, look at that. That's a face of a stone cold rat killer there. Yep. I'm so proud of Scout. So anyway, that's basically it. There's nothing really going on out here this week. Just letting myself finish getting well over the flu, letting some of this bad weather pass by, letting things dry out out here. Um, feeling a lot better now, getting ready to jump back into work here in the next uh, few days. So anyway, there it is. For me and uh, for me and the two little babies here. Signing off. See ya. So I've been looking around at all the different anthills on the property and this is one of the only ones that's coming back to life. So this is the middle of March. This is the earliest I've seen them come out. 
you can see they're just starting to emerge and they're moving very slowly. I guess I thought that was pretty cool. There's about five different spots there where they're coming out. There's all kinds of life everywhere you look starting to pop out all kinds of, of green plants starting to come back starting to pop up out of the ground so cool just about everywhere you look there's something coming up just to give you all an idea of how soft this ground is look see it's just it's really soft same way as all the grasses are starting to slowly turn green again won't be long until this entire field is full of green grass. Looks like Scout's got something else there to hunt. Yep. Yeah, there's something in there, isn't there, baby? Yep. 